So this image, you know what, this might just work in three clicks. I'm kind of trying to show you that a lot of things just work in three clicks, um, but some of them don't. So that looks great. Um, darkest dark point, maybe that's down here. I'm going to hold down Alt. I was way off. Maybe that's here. Still off. Maybe that's here. Still feels very burnt out. This is looking good. Let's keep going. So I'm just holding down Alt, and this is generally my process right here. Then I'll like turn it on and off. Um, looking pretty good. Maybe I'll bring that back a bit. I don't think I need to change the midpoint because the colors on this are just fantastic. Um, I'm just going to kind of bring that back. And obviously with this image, well, no, it's not completely being blown out for stylistic reasons. I think adding this contrast to it um, adds a whole other level. Um, so yeah, just something right there to kind of just make that a little bit better. All right, don't save. Uh, you know, I'm looking at this right here and I kind of want to adjust it a bit. Mm -hmm. Now, in an ideal world, I am adjusting everything just within curves and you can technically do everything in curves. And I want us to live in that world. Uh, I was going to introduce some other color adjustment tools because there are co other color adjustment tools, but let's do one tool at a time. So here's another feature that's in curves. Basically, I'm looking at this and it looks a little bit too purple for me. And I don't think I can find a midpoint that will solve that right there. So just as this increases the lightness and the darkness of, uh, of an image, so lightness, darkness, you can actually go into each of the individual channels, the red, green, and blue channels, and adjust their lightness and darkness as well. Now here's the thing, when you Inc when you decrease the red, that doesn't make things go more gray. That makes it go to the opposite of red. And just as you can go from black to white, you can go from red to cyan, green to purple, blue to yellow. Oh, you didn't memorize exactly the difference between all of those right there? Fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Let's go into color balance right here. So it's just this thing called color balance. And this will show you what's the opposite of what. So there we go. We're in color balance right now, and you can see it just created another color adjustment layer. And so when you decrease red, you're increasing cyan. So in this case, I think it's too purple. So I'm going to get the purple a little bit away. Right now we're focusing on the midtones. So you can do midtone shadows highlights in this tool. This isn't a tool that I use all that often. I'll normally do this directly in curves, but I kind of want to show you this this way right now. Um, and just show you how you can do it here because conceptually this is a little bit simpler. Um, yeah, I don't know. I still feel like the darks are a little bit blown out, which might be part of the original image. And I still feel like it's a little bit too sh shifted. So anyway, just kind of playing around with it. Um, that's a really subtle change. No, that's not a subtle change at all. That's a great change. That looks great. I, I'm, I'm happy. Um, you know, we're never going to fix these things that are completely black right here because I think if we zoom in, there just isn't any color information to really draw out from this. So we're doing the best we can with the situation. You can make a bad picture look decent. You can make a good picture look excellent.